bitter steel is our last hope. No. There is another. Hello, everyone. I'm thinking I do want to try the this disaster save. It's the the one that Bitter Steel posted. Am I gonna beat Bitter Steel? <laughs> I don't know about that. The fact that he even survived the start is impressive because I was struggling to figure it out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and promote a few guys here. So I know in his video he did delete this uh, unit over here. I think that is smart. But we get that manpower back. I think I want to delete this unit. That doesn't really make sense when we're already struggling for manpower and infantry equipment. I'm going to try to get these, this unit out right away rather than attacking this unit. I want to get these units up here and try to get to Oviedo as fast as possible. This is fine. We'll, we'll continue with Crusade Against Democracy. We need to improve relations with Sweden. Stuff on the international market. I do think that's smart to do that. 323 that'll that'll do fine so we'll put all three sieves on it 19 troops to play around with i'm gonna make a front line possible areas of attack i would say this area they are force attacking right now for seven days the the thing is if we can hold for a while we can do really well maybe i should move this guy I'll give him an infantry expert. We might have to use that guy for a while because that it, someone that has infantry expert uh, could be really, really useful. Yeah, I could just go on this field, Marshal. We may have to do some pinning attacks, and if we do pinning attacks, we want to use these ones, the ones that can't be disbanded, because they're just eating up like our infantry equipment and all the other stuff that, that we need. We've got two units up there. I'm going to try to push this tile as well. we got to be careful what these Germans do because they might try to pin us here. We're holding everywhere so far. We're, what we're just going to do is, is try to get in as defensible a position as possible. We don't have any MIOs assigned. Definitely makes sense to assign those. All right, let's 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 pin them from this tile. Okay, we made it out. Now we need to get into Oviedo quickly. Then we can potentially get most of those units out. So that's, that's the goal, obviously, but it is quite difficult. All right, we could take Static Warfare now. I think that's probably going to be the best bet, even though it won't actually increase it that much. Although, actually, you know, it, it will actually increase it a decent bit because uh, currently we have just Grand Battle Plan, the, the first one. So 5.1K shortage of guns currently. This is fine. The unit's going to be there in 19 hours. Oh, we made it there first. Nice. All right, I'm just going to retreat everything up here. And there we are, we're in Oviedo. What I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to delete these units. We don't need the extras. So that, that actually gives infantry equipment back now and the manpower. So the, the full manpower. All right, let's go up to Sweden. We can get a uh, non-aggression pact. And then we can request some guns and such from them. We just need to hold Oviedo for a little bit. And then we can get all these troops, all, all the rest of them out. Or we could just delete all of them. That's another option. So like this, this unit here, this might be a good option to just delete. 7,000 manpower from that. And 409 infantry equipment. That's actually, that's pretty significant. Let's go ahead and delete that one. Because I, I want to get it into our other divisions that are already over here. And I think I will delete this one too. 2,000 manpower. So really all that we're left with is just kind of these junk units then. That we can't actually delete. Like I said, I just want our units over here to have better stats. Uh, so what I did over here, I just left two units as a defense force. Just to hold Zaragoza. Okay, the Requite is out. Let's uh, go ahead and just delete that too. That's another 1,000 manpower. Not too shabby. Look at that manpower now. Glorious. All right, so we've got the infantry to deficit, artillery, support equipment, and let's ask for convoys too. So everything that we need, they're going to start providing us. What am I trying to achieve this round? I, I just want to survive for a little bit. I mean, the goal would be to survive indefinitely and then eventually push back and win. But, but currently the goal is just to survive. Yeah, I think probably the best bet is just pull them out. All right, there we go. We can pull out. We have enough convoys to do that, so it's fine. Uh, the attack on Burgos. See, these mountaineers, they're nasty. They've uh, full experience, so they're they are dealing a lot of damage. They might they might try to push. Yeah, I think they're going to. All right, we'll leave them over there. We baited an attack, so it's fine. So far, so good. This is actually looking decent. Uh, what happens if I just disband that? Oh, we get 573 manpower back. I'm going to just disband that because it, with 2% fighting strength, we still get all of that if we disband right now. That's, I think that's a bit cheese, but I, I'm going to take it. Okay, this tile is probably going to fall. We're just getting hit so, so hard by these, by these German troops. They are hitting it nasty hard, and our strength levels are not good. 
Yeah, I think we're pushed out. So it is what it is. Getting hit from two sides, we, we can't we can't sustain that. Oh, but the Germans got in there instead of the Republicans. That's actually really good. All right, I'm gonna take this tile just to get that unit surrounded. I, I'm gonna pull back immediately. Okay, uh, we can buy more stuff. We gotta do that right away. 10% strength and we're out of manpower. I'd, I'd really actually like to push these out. That would give us a more defensible position. They were about to lose that. That unit's gonna die too. I could do a last stand now and maybe I should. We're gonna lose a lot from doing this though. That's the problem. Yeah, he got there first. It's fine, I'll move up there. Okay, we pushed him out. This is looking okay-ish. 150, let's go ahead and do the limited conscription right away. And I'm not gonna do any focus. I, I still wanna do this right away because that's gonna give us 3% more recruitable population. Oh, they actually delivered our first shipment. Nice, thank you, Sweden. You're the best. Yeah, we still need a lot more guns. They still like us enough to give us stuff, and we need to take full advantage of that. I'm begging, begging you. Could maybe start building some forts? They're not pushing over here right now, so I'm not worried about it. I, I really wish these Germans and Spanish would go against the Republicans instead of me, but they've sent literally all of their elite units up here specifically against me for some reason. Okay, a unit just got destroyed here, so we're gonna get more pressured here now. All right, we got another lend lease from Sweden. So you can see we're looking mostly full there now. I'm gonna do this real quick. That way we have good deficits and we can ask them again. I don't think Better Steel knew about the, the Sweden lend lease, but for some reason they can actually lend lease with essentially no world tension or, or very low world tension. No, we lost the mountain tile. That's bad. Maybe I should just go like a horseshoe just around Bilbao and just abandon all of these. Yeah, we're gonna lose Zargos anyways. Like they, they have all these like elite units up trying to push us. Meanwhile, the Republicans are just, just pushing straight into their territory because they won't put their elite units on that border and actually attack the Republicans, which is why we're getting pressured so immensely hard. Absolutely brutal. I'm gonna bring this unit over since they're not pushing here anyways. If they could stop attacking for like two seconds, it'd be great. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's horrible. We also lost two divisions somewhere along the line. Just from strength, they just got blown up. Yeah, sadly we lost the, the top tile there. And we're, we're gonna be losing more units here too. A lot of units are starting to die just from strength. Cause they're constant, they, they've never once stopped attacking us. Not a single time this entire game. Look at this, look at this, they've, only, they've almost been split in half because they refuse to do anything but, but kill me. If I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> All right, I've got the save still, so I mean, we can, we can give it another go. Round two, fight. All right, so let's get this fixed up. Uh, halt these units, move them up here. I mean, I guess I could do something like this and just do several deliveries. So that would be in three deliveries for 1,200. We're gonna improve relations with the Swedes once again. I'm gonna delete all the Roquetes we can. Okay, there's two divisions that are gonna get destroyed. All right, and for that effort, I'm gonna go flexible work. I don't think the static warfare actually helped us that much. All right, well, I think we'll get the port here. We just gotta watch it, make sure that we do get it. Man, really? They're pinning us. Oh wow, La Coruña is actually open. All right, I'm gonna retreat over here then. I mean, <laughs> maybe I should try to actually hold it. It would be funny. Lol. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna uh, delete all the recotes over here because we need the manpower and all that more. There's actually potential to cap these guys, but I don't know if we want to, because if we cap them, then then the, <laughs> the Republicans are hyper powerful. The only good thing about that would be no, uh, no Italians and no Germans. We need Vigo and then we could cap them. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do it, 100%. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> fella just defeated oh man okay we just got their fleet i wish that gave us more guns uh but we at least have some manpower now for uh, for a brief moment we have manpower but see now now we have to contend with the entire force oh they all they all are considered our main course now oh okay that's that's amazingly good then that's five provinces that we could hold and then we could just abandon the entire east I'm gonna put these on strike force so that we don't get naval invaded. 
if we can go up in conscription and actually get enough lend lease plus what we're already building in guns i think we can do pretty well so now the goal is just get these troops out of the way get them out into the defensible positions so here's another thought we go one two three four five six seven eight nine provinces well i guess it would just give us bilbao as well and then we would of course still have leon i don't think burgos is holdable all right uh fullback line let's 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 see what this would look like so this is what i was talking about right here right here right here uh, maybe i should do this hill tile because then leon would would have less pressure on it so i think that's a total of nine provinces like this six seven eight that's eight provinces yeah that's not bad oh man that that manpower instantly just disappeared <laughs> Uh, let's stop building whatever we were building. We're gonna try to get forts along our entire front, but this is all almost all mountains There's two hill provinces and the rest are mountains Sweet, okay, so we, we actually control a lot of our provinces then Okay time for limited and then we just got to watch for requites and we need to Make sure that we are getting support from the Swedes every time possible. Oh man. This is so much better now <laughs> Yeah, we're entrenching now Wait, they're they're screwed. It's like we have thirty percent entrenchment. Um, actually, here let, let's let's boost that even more because we can throw this guy in there with defensive doctrine and charismatic, and now we're in even better shape because now our max entrenchment is going to be like forty or thirty nine percent, and we're getting some battles that get dicey when they push for a while. So we need to uh, reinforce it when that's the case. Let's go professional officer corps. No deficits now except artillery. Oh, that's beautiful. Give us more, Sweden. So we're at 2.5% now. We're almost done with expand the requites, and that's going to massively help us. That's going to fix our manpower issues because we're not losing too much manpower now, whereas the enemy is losing a lot. Like, look at this, 283k to 128k. Like, they're getting to the point where they can't push us. The only thing that can push us right now is the Soviets, and uh, we can actually de-orc the Soviets too because we're dug in. We are like essentially fully dug in. Yeah, they can't, they have no damage. Five, five damage, five soft attack. All right, we got it done. So I'm gonna do, oh, we can remove autonomous state. That's actually really good. Okay, we need to do that right away. That's gonna give us 50% more recruitable population, which is massive. Almost all of our deficits are fixed, but I, I still wanna keep creating deficits and getting more units. If we, if we don't do that, we're gonna be in trouble. All right, let's get, I think I will do theater training because I, I do want to get the terrain traits. Um, we could also switch and try and grind an infantry leader. Let's see if we can get some ooh, inflexible strategists. That would be pretty good. And then I want to grind infantry leader on someone too. So let's do this guy. He's already uh, level two. All right, let's speed it up a bit. I feel a little bit safer about this. We're deorging the Soviets. If we can complete the fanaticism, that's that will help us a lot with actually defeating the Republicans. Oh, what? Where did that manpower just come from? Oh, yeah, right, the autonomous states. Oh, that is so good. All right, I'm gonna put these on the front. Let's give this guy something. All right, we are up to 25 troops. See, this is this is the beginning of the end for the, the Republicans. We have uh, forts almost everywhere now. Uh, there's the force attacks. They are going to lose so much. I love it. All right. Let's get some civs. We just need guns and then we can we can do some serious pushes. Now, we we currently because we have such horrible stability issues, we have negative 49.6% factory output. Prepared defense. All right, that's that's 10% more defense on all of our divisions, so it's going to be even harder for them to push us now than it already was. 170k to 470k now. Oh, we got ourselves an infantry expert. Oh, infantry specialist. That's going to cost us 50 PP. So we'll have that really soon. We're continuing down. we got to get all the way down to cultivate fanaticism. And that will seriously help us in pushing them out. But our manpower is looking really good now. Did they cancel the non-aggression pact? They did. But why? <laughs> I'm going to preemptively do this. Improved relations with France. Oh, 5% more soft attack to the entire army. We can actually push back. We could go for Burgos first, maybe, or like try to push this tile and this tile, and then get Burgos and try to surround these units. We have full veterancy, 
There's Fado Czechoslovakia. We can get more goodies. The French love us now. Okay, they're only willing to give guns, but that's fine. And we just recruited 12 divisions, and we still have leftover manpower. That shows you what sort of shape we're in now. Okay, we need to get Burgos. We're still pinning these guys. We can push from there as well. But we're moving into Burgos. We just need to get those those uh, other troops pushed out of the way then. We have Burgos. I really want to kill that Soviet division. It'll make me so happy. Come on, push him out. Almost there. Yes, 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 yes. Got him. All right, we'll go for another encirclement here. Go for Volodolid. And po potentially another big encirclement. They're not moving their troops at all. We almost have that troop uh, knocked out. Oh, yeah. Try to expand my gains here a little bit. I'm pretty sure we can just, like, all-out push. I think we probably could just beeline to Madrid. Because their whole front is collapsing now. That was a massive chunk of their troops. That is a lot of divisions. <laughs> what are they at? 655k. Well, they did have they did have reserve divisions, as you can see. They've pulled them from somewhere. <laughs> and we can now get the infantry specialist. I'm going to see if I can just walk across here. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! I need to mop these up, and then, then we can use all these elsewhere. They're finally reacting to me doing this. Sweet. We destroyed those units. So now we need to all-out assault. Look at this guy. What a chad. We don't have Madrid yet, but we're getting there. Okay, they should be capping here soon. We just need Madrid. Oh, Madrid has unplanned offensive. Okay, let's do a Madrid offensive then. Oh, there's nothing in there now. Nothing in Madrid. Does that cap them? I think that will. Cadiz we might need Cadiz. No, nope, they're gone. Oh! <laughs> Epic. All right, so now, now it's the easy part. Uh, there are some divs here. Whoa, they're... They actually have, like, nearly full strength. I think the Republicans weren't pushing them, apparently. Yeah, we need a pin here. To those who are about to die, I salute you. There it is. Woo! So 1939. July 29th, 1939 is when I was able to get it done by. Now, I think that probably could be improved some by doing the whole thing here faster. We potentially could have pushed faster, too, from our initial pos position. But, I mean, I, I'm perfectly happy with this. A, a July 1939 victory from that disaster state, <laughs> That's, that feels pretty good. And we still have a lot of units. Look at this. Th these are all, like, l let's take a look at one of these units. I'm guessing it's, like, 90% Swedish. Yeah. 90% Swedish equipment. <laughs> if not more than 90%. But yeah, definitely capitulating the the phalanges was super, super clutch. If, if we didn't do that, it was near impossible to even hold initially. Hope you guys enjoyed this crazy disaster save, and uh, give it a try if you, if you haven't. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today, and I will catch you all later.